Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're talking one percenters. We're going to go up to New England and talk about a shooting, um, a homicide, and an arrest, and some chatter, and some investigation into whether this was outlaws, hell's angel, war related. And in the war, I mean, in the sense that this is the the two biggest biker clubs um, in the world have been at war for 50 years. I don't mean like a separate war, like what we see what's going on in Montreal with uh, the Hells Angels and and the Italians. But um, from what I'm told, the alleged boss of the main Outlaws Motorcycle Club, a guy by the name of Aaron Almost Famous Carp, um, was indicted. Uh, last week for the July 30th uh, homicide of a 51-year-old woman um, named Susan McHugh. And there was some type of shootout at a auto repair shop parking lot, which was across the street from Carp's um, appropriately named Almost Famous Tattoo Shop. Um, and Shots were fired, volleys back and forth. Um, and at the end of the day, you had four people that were shot and had to go to the hospital. Susan died. Her husband, Todd, I'm told, was one of the other people that uh, were, was wounded and is recovering in the hospital right now. And we know for sure that whatever position he holds, Aaron Karp is an outlaw. Um he has it on his, his social media. Uh, you can see a, a, a photo on his Facebook with his his cut and his vest, and he's got a, um, a one percenter patch and a SS patch, which means they're an enforcer. The two lightning bolts, um, and I'm being told that part of this investigation now, uh, almost you know, going on two weeks later since the incident on July 30th that there are some circumstances that are leading investigators to believe that the McHughes are affiliated, were, Susan was affiliated with the Hells Angels. Um, We're still learning what those might be, and we're told they might be very minor, but that there is or was a tie between the McHughes, the Hells Angels, and that is now being investigated as a possible Motive for the shooting with Aaron Karp and the outlaws. Karp's 47 is pled not guilty, is being held without bond. Uh, You know, this is this comes at a time where the outlaws and Hells Angels are said to be in the middle of a series of peace talks. Um, I know there's been at least three or four meetings since late 2022, the first time that these two monolithic biker organizations have sat at the same table in 30 years. Um, And obviously incidents like this don't help. Uh, So I don't know. We'll see. We know that uh, under Tommy O, who's the alleged international president of the outlaws, uh, he's out in Buffalo, that there has been a concerted effort to expand New England as the pagans are in the middle of their blue wave expansion going uh, kind of nationwide that, that, you know, some of the uh, impetus for the, if not all the impetus for the hell's angels and outlaws meeting to possibly bury the hatchet and combine forces to combat the blue wave. But there've been uh, about six to, to 10 new new England chapters that have opened up uh, the outlaws have opened up in the last decade under Tommy O's leadership. Tommy O was, you know, behind bars himself, no bond uh, in the obstruction case related to the murder of a witness in the the Buffalo Mafia strip club drug racketeering case. Um, And Hells Angels, you know, their their start on the East Coast coming from, you know, where their their roots are in in, uh, NoCal, uh, started in Lowell, Massachusetts, 1966, that I think they're called the Bad Company Crew, uh, opened up shop. And so 
Outlaws didn't get there until the 80s. So that area, that New England area, has has always been a piece of territory that's never been kind of definitive one way or the other, uh, Outlaw or, or Hells Angels. So it's interesting, you know, in that context of, of where this took place, I'm, I'm told that Carp is somebody that has impressed outlaw uh, higher ups, both in California, New York, and in Canada, with his kind of street savvy ways. Doesn't have much of a criminal record at all um, until this arrest. And uh, I've heard he's really good with money, kind of a money list. So we'll, we'll keep tracking it for you, but uh, Outlaws, Motorcycle Club figure, Aaron, almost famous carp, is behind bars right now being charged with the murder of Susan McHugh in a July 30th shootout that may have some ties to the Hells Angels. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, I'm out. Please like, subscribe, share. We're always spreading the wealth here. Go to our Patreon, check out what we're doing over there. And uh, we'll keep bringing you the best that we got, uncovering the underworld 24-7.